Can you put the suitcases in the car, please? You sure? Thank you. Uh, uh, good morning, God. Why don't you ask her that? What's going on here? What does it look like? I don't know what you'd be asking if I knew. Is it so goddamn hard to answer a simple fucking question? Talking. It's one of those days again, huh? What the fuck is going on here, Jennifer? <laughs> You're so ridiculous, you know that? So ridiculous. <laughs> Just look at yourself. Then tell me which of us is ridiculous, huh? Me or you? With your ridiculous cold sweat. Your compulsive obsession with control. Your shaky hands. Shall I go on? And no, our maid is not going on vacation with $20,000 worth in suitcases. Where are you going? Leaving. Leaving? Damn right leaving. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. You are leaving me? You? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like I walk out of that fucking door and we never meet again. Except for a day or two in court. I warned you, Trent. But it didn't help. You went more than just a little too far. Again. And I... I've had it. I just don't care anymore. <clears throat> you are leaving me? You? You? <laughs> You're pretty quick on the uptake, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Let's say I play along, just for fun. You really do it, you leave me. Who is gonna come up for your expenses then, huh? Hmm. Don't you rack your brains about my problems, I'll be just fine. No, 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 no. I'm serious. That's a serious question that deserves to be answered. Who's gonna pay for you? Because you know our prenup as well as I do. It doesn't look so very good for you. And what you also know as well as I do is... <laughs> You're a money-wasting bitch. Hmm. So who the fuck is going to pay for you? You know what your mistake is? Your mistake is that you think I need all of this. <laughs> I don't. Not at all. Did it help to cope with having to live with you? Sure did. But now? Having to live with me? Having to live with me? Interesting. Because I remember it a bit differently. I, I remember a girl whose only assets were her body and a pretty face. Mm. They wanted me so badly. She, without knowing or having ever seen me in person, took an hour-long flight to only have the chance to meet with me. Now you say you had to live with me, huh? Seriously. <laughs> Make no mistake. I only took the goddamn flight because you paid me 10,000 bucks to do it. But okay. Back then, I may have wanted you. Fair enough. That means I didn't want you, of course. But all I wanted was your goddamn money, and your goddamn money is what I got. Back then, it was a good trade-off. At least that's what it seemed like. Now, after all these years, no money in the world could make me stay with you. And just so you know, I don't feel the least bit of sympathy for you. Never have. And if you drink yourself to death, then I don't fucking care. Not at all. In fact, if I could have you dead or alive, then dead seems like a pretty fucking good choice, to be honest. Yeah, drink's good right about now, isn't it? 
Come on, go ahead. Fuck you. I'll have a drink whenever the fuck I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's almost 10. There's nothing wrong with having a drink at 10 in the a.m., is there? Shut up. You're not leaving me. I know you too damn well for that, Jen. Mm -hmm. Really? You're not going anywhere. The fuck you're leaving me. Well, then why don't you just go to the bar and make yourself a drink? Pretend like it's a regular day. Whatever it is, just leave me the fuck alone. I'm not biting, Jen. The fuck you're leaving? You'll do what I've always done. Spend a few nights at a Grand Royal in a suite that I'm paying for. That sounds familiar, huh? And then after some thinking and doubting, maybe crying over your bitter fate, you'll realize what I already know, that you ain't got any option but me because you're not the beautiful girl anymore. No, sir. You're a 40-something whore. They got too many miles on the clock to find anyone willing to spend a single fucking dime on her. That's what you are. <laughs> so you'll come back. And the one thing that has always been true will prove true yet once again. He said, my fucking money is still good enough for the fucking bitch or girl that you are. Ain't it the way it always goes, huh? Ain't it the way it always goes? Do that, you. you. You didn't fucking do that! Jennifer! Jennifer! Where is it? Where's what? Where have you put it? I don't know what you mean. Don't you play the fool? Where have you put it? Oh, you mean the bottles you're not addicted to? I must have poured them away, I guess. Oh, no, you haven't because you wouldn't dare to anymore. Well, then good luck and let me know when you found them. I'm not in the mood to play games today, Jimmy. If you hear me, like Sanji is not a regular drugstore whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking privilege you're right? So, where have you put it? Mm -hmm. Leave me alone, you fucking son of a bitch. I'm gonna ask you one last time. Don't even think of telling me I've poured it away because you haven't. So, where the fuck have you put it, huh? Hey, seriously, or you think that's a normal guy your age with a lip dick that's more sliding rope than anything else? Ah! <laughs> you see what I'm looking to her? You said it what you wanted! You know, I want an answer. And if I were you, I would better not try to be funny or sarcastic this time. Because you got me in the fucking red now, and believe me, you don't want me when I'm in the fucking red, so... Where is it? Jen, you all right? Say something, Jen. Jen, Jen, fuck! Hi. Let me take a look, will you? You all right? I don't think that it's broke, no. Why are your motherfucking hands off of me, you son of a bitch? Jen, listen, I'm sorry, I really am. Uh, believe me, okay? I, I, I don't know what came over me. I'm, I'm s such a prey. And you're right, I got issues. I'll work on them. Just, just let me take a look. Huh? You're right, aren't you? Hey, please stay. <laughs> just, I'm lost without you. I'll, I'll work on it, really. Go. Go cold turkey to therapy, eh? Whatever you want, but please stay. I need you. I love you. I said, what's he doing with her fucking hands off of me? Jen? Take him off! No! Jen, please. Put this fucking gun down. Don't do anything stupid. We can talk it all over. Huh? I meant it. 
I'll do anything you want. Anything. You know that I love you. Don't you? Take another step and I swear I'm gonna shoot your fucking face off. You think I'm not gonna do it, huh? It'd be an act of self-defense, no questions asked. So I should actually think you and empty the whole goddamn wheel on you. Jim? Shut the fuck up and move! See you in court, asshole. Let me say back, put up a lid back.